Hey everyone, today we're going to have a quick unboxing and initial review of the base mini quick travel charger which is using gallium nitride or GAN components. Now, the reason why I want to review this is because I want to find a single charger or charger brick that can sort of do the job of my laptop charger my multi-purpose Qualcomm quick charge charger and also my mobile phone uh, super fast adaptive charger let's move this aside and let me reposition everything right so let's do a quick unboxing now um, this brick is from a company called Bessus or some people call it base uh, it uses uh, gallium nitride uh, basically allowing manufacturers to make charger brick much smaller uh, and this uh, basically is rated at 65 watt uh, using gallium nitride now uh, the box is fairly small and um, I bought this from uh, Aliexpress uh, at about just over 25 US dollars now we may think that at 25 US dollars this is expensive but you know considering if you buy a uh, so I'm using a Samsung phone if you buy an original uh, Samsung charger charger brick uh, with uh, adaptive fast charging that is already well over 30 US dollars um, so let's uh, basically have a uh, unboxing of this yeah, let me just open this no, I've not opened this before so let's see what is inside let me see if I can actually zoom out so you can actually see more of it I just received this uh, yesterday what is in the box alright so gift card the box is not so important um, quick start guide not sure what this is. This is uh, basically in Chinese, the quick start guide. I'm just gonna leave this aside. So the charger itself. Right, leave this aside. So the charger brick itself, it's uh, fairly unassuming. It's, um, I'd say, very small. And according to the manual, it weighs about 126 grams so let's uh, basically remove the uh, seal right so there is um, two USB-C ports uh, and they call it C1, C2 and then the USB-A port uh, I believe this has uh, quick charge um, but I'll have a look at it so let me just quickly read through uh, some of this to you the first USB-C port is rated at 65 watt max the second USB-C port is rated at 30 watt max and then the USB-A port is also rated at 30 watt max so basically it's just a charger uh, there's a choice of basically the uh, European uh, adapter or the American style adapter which are the two flat pins so let's have a look yeah so after trying a few of the adapters uh, none fit very well so I basically will use back a, a connector to the uh, normal European or um, UK 3 pin plug so basically let's have a look alright um, alright so that fits uh, quite alright see if I can focus now so I've got my 100 watt rated uh, USB-C cable so first thing I want to test is on C1 so I'll first test with my 
Samsung S9 and uh, let's have a look uh, remember I'm connecting to the 65 watt port so if you can actually see it says fast charging so this port supports the Samsung adaptive fast charging I'm going to try with my other Samsung phone so this is the Note 10 Lite so you can see like it says super fast charging and this is actually Samsung's uh, super fast adaptive charging at 25 watts so that's good now the true test basically comes on the main reason I bought this charger to see if it actually charges my laptop so now it's running on battery so let me just connect this right so you can see like uh, it's actually connected and it's charging the charging icon is actually going so as a quick recap on the first USB-C port which is C1 it charges my laptop through USB-C at 65 watts and this is very useful to carry a small brick around it also charges uh, both my Samsung phones on 18 watt adaptive fast charging Samsung's fast charging and also the Samsung fast adaptive charging which is at 25 watts it also charges my other phones on quick charge and that is also very useful so what I want to do is to test out the second port which is C2 which is rated at 30 watts now I'm sure that 30 watts will not charge the laptop because the laptop requires at least uh, 50 to 60 watts and above so let's have a look at this this is my S9 so this supports Samsung's adaptive fast charging as well try the Note 10 Lite So it supports the super fast adaptive charging as well. This is hmm, doesn't want to do super fast adaptive charging. So let's try again and see. Let's try this again and see if uh, there's a negotiation. Now it defaults back to fast charging only. And of course on my Pixel 3D should be fine. This would be fast charging. So what I want to do is to test out the legacy USB-A port. Let me see if I can connect this and uh, I'm using a low power fitness band so let's see if uh, this thing charges it well so legacy charging on USB-A works well so my this band is being charged at the moment let's see if it supports my super fast adaptive charging on my Samsung device so it still supports my super fast adaptive charging when used with uh, both ports so there's enough of power to go around 
So one final thing left to to test. So I want to see if both C1 and C2 will support dual fast charging together. So let me plug this to C2 and to C1. on my Note, uh, S9 so this is doing fast charging I'm just going to leave this here and then on my Note 10 Plus so okay so it looks like if I'm using C1, C2 it does not want to support my super fast adaptive charging on my Note 10 and just to check back both are doing fast charging as a quick summary as a very small mini brick charger this is actually really useful because it's very portable so if I compare this with my laptop 65 watt USB-C charger you can see like I'd say this is less than 3 quarter of the size and delivering the same 65 watts Remove this aside, and what we found out is when using C1, if it's using as a dedicated port, it will be able to deliver my charging to my laptop at 65 watts. It also will do that super fast adaptive charging to my Note 10, uh, which is rated at 25 watts. So the second port only allows me to do fast charging if I use C1 and C2 both ports will only do fast charging and the USB-A port supports all legacy charging on USB now at about 28 US dollars for this gallium nitride charger it's fairly worth it so there's actually a mention of 65 watts now considering they actually include a 1 meter long 100 watt charging cable C USB-C to USB-C so just as a comparison this is an original Samsung fast adaptive charger now there are so many duplicate Samsung chargers out there in the market all claiming to be original but if you if I go out and buy an original Samsung charger this would be at least 30 US dollars and considering this brick is actually cheaper than the original Samsung charger this is actually a really good buy now how long will this last I don't know um, but because it's uh, using gallium nitride it's meant to hopefully last a longer time and if you guys have any questions about this charger brick uh, please feel free to ask in the comments below